Hello dear friends, welcome again to my channel. It's me Teacher D. Uh, baada ya kuzungumzia sehemu mbalimbali ambazo zina possibility ya kutoa mtihani wa civics, watu wame request zaidi tuangalie pia mtihani wa history kwamba ni vipengele gani muhimu ni topic gani muhimu ambazo kwa hizi siku chache zizo baki mwanafunzi anaweza katumia au akapathe through kwa ajili ya kujiandaa na mtihani. Kama ni mara ya kwanza unaitembelea hii channel yangu, ni kuombe usiache subscribe, ku like, ku pamoja na comment. Katika hii channel tunapeana mbinu mbalimbali za ufaulu lakini pia tunapeana michongo ya kazi na vitu kama hivyo hapo. Kwa hiyo ukisubscribe bonyeza pia alama ya kengele. Sasa leo bila kupoteza muda wako nataka tuende tutazame vitu muhimu venye <coughs> vina ambavyo vinapatikana katika mtihani wa history na ambavyo vina uwezekano mkubwa wa kutoa maswali. Huu mtihani wa mwaka 2020 maana yake huu ni mtihani ambao una una ni mtihani ambao tayari upo katika format mpya ya mwaka 2019. Kwa hiyo ndani ya mtihani huu utagundua kuna vitu muhimu ambavyo lazima uvijue au kuna topic muhimu ambazo zina possibility ya kutoa maswali kwa wingi. Kwa hiyo mimi mara nyingi ninazungumziaga huku chini ambako ni la, pana maswali ya yenye maths 45. Kwa maana ukipiga maswali yako matatu au mawili tayari utakuwa upo katika nafasi nzuri ya kufaulu. Uh, kwa experience yangu na kwa nilivyofanya investigation nimegundua kuna topic kadhaa ambazo zinapenda kutoa maswali na ambazo kama hujazipitia hebu tumia muda wako kidogo na hapo upite au uweke uzito zaidi katika hizo topic. Kwa mfano tunapoangalia swali la sita nakwambia why some Africa why some why some areas in Africa experience the intensive scramble more than others. Oh, explain give explain by giving 60 points. Sasa maana yake hapa tunaona hii ni topic ya ya scramble for and the partition of Africa ambayo ni ya kwanza kabisa yani ni ile ile tunazungumza capitalism katika Africa jinsi ukoloni colonialism ni Africa jinsi ukoloni ulivyoingia Africa na subtopic ya kwanza na husu scramble for and the partition of Africa sasa okay. kwa experience hii ni topic ambayo inatoa maswali kwa wingi sana sana sana. Kwa hiyo kama hujaipitia hebu nenda kaipitie. Na nitakuonesha ninaku, format ninavyoonesha na point walizozigawa katika hili topic. Lakini why with the example expense six effect of colonial agriculture. Maana hii ni colonial economy form 3 hizi. Lakini pia nakwambia elaborate six contribution of the first first in the second world war. Hii ni form 3 pia right na na yani ni form 3 form 4 hapa na lakini tukija hapa explain six reasons maana yake hapo unatakiwa uwe unajua colonial economy unatakiwa uwe unajua first world war in and out unatakiwa unajua first world war and the second world war lakini unajua mambo ya scramble for and the partition kwenye scramble for and the partition lazima uwe unajua jinsi pale kuna mambo mengi yako pale kwenye ile topic usitaki nipoteze muda wako lakini explain six reasons for the collapse of faith First East Africa Community. Ile ni topic ya mwisho kabisa kule. Ye, yeah, ya form 4. Sasa mimi nirudi kwenye kwenye format. Kwenye format hapa kuna topics ambazo zipo zipo <coughs> zipo selected kabisa ambazo zinaonesha ni lazima uzijue na ambazo kimsingi kwa ni zoom hapa uone inachozungumza. Kwenye mtihani wa history kuna vitu vya muhimu lazima hizi topic huwa unazijua. Ambazo ziko almost 16 ambapo ukiangalia kuna source and the importance of history hii ni topic ya form 1 kabisa evolution of money technology sasa hizi waga is a source si nini za form 1 form 1 mara nyingi zinaanzia kwenye kuchagua kwa nini unaweka kwenye kuchagua kwa sababu unajua ni vitu ambavyo ni muda mrefu hujavisoma lakini pia ni vitu ambavyo lazima uingie deep kwa yani tunapozungumzia swali la AS maana yake sio lazima uwe deep unaweza ukajua ya importance unaweza ukajua si effect wa, lakini unapozungumzia mambo ya source and importance of history kama wasipokuletea katika mfumo wa AS basi watakuletea kadude kadogo sana ambako kanachomozwa kananyofolewa mahali eh na ndio maana ukiangalia ile mitiani kwa mfano nirudi nyuma kidogo kabla sijaendelea hapa tuangalie tuangalie hii huu mtihani ambao nilikuwa nauangalia hapa sasa hivi kuangalia swali la kwanza linavyokuwa lina, lina vitu vya mfumo gani ukiangalia swali la kwanza uta experience kitu kimoja kwamba maswali yake yanatoka katika mfano akwambia John Grandmother who witnesses the German invasion Tanganyika hii maana yake ni kama tuchukulie ehe 
unaona oral tradition ngoja nilisome swali vizuri kumbuka mwanzisi wangu ni kwamba usiogope swali eti maelezo ni makubwa si nini just read it yani maelezo yanaweza kawa marefu lakini uhalisia ni kwamba bado ukaweza kujibu akwambia Jones Grandmother who witnesses the German invasion in Tanganyika he has habit of narrating regularly to John and his friends eh? on how some societies in Tanganyika resisted to German strong, strongly which, which source of history information is this no, no, in from one source of history kama ni our traditions kama ni archives kuna museum kuna archaeology na linguistic kwa hii maswali haya kuchagua yanatoka from one kwa umeona ni kadude fulani kana nyofoliwa ujue je our tradition ni ipi eh hey, archives ni ipi museum ni ipi archaeology ni ipi kwa hiyo utambue kwamba tunapozungumza kwamba hii topic ni ya form 1 au hii topic itatoka form 1 basi ujue inakuwa inatoa katika mfumo wa masuala ya kuchagua lakini ukiacha hiyo kuna hii tunaita revolution of man technology and environment lazima uwe naijua ni ya form 1 pia development of economic social economic activities and the other impact kuna development of social and the political system is topic go and the path through yani hizi ni za muhimu sana lakini utakuja interaction among among the uh, um, among the people of Africa in from two sources eh lazima ujue zile interaction ziko vipi mambo ya marriage mambo sio vitu gani na vitu kama hivyo lakini kuna social economic development and production in pre african lazima ujue africa and external world lazima ujue industrial capitalism ndio unakuja establishment of colonialism ambayo ni from 3 lakini lazima ujue mambo sasa hapa topic ya establishment of colonialism ukija kwenye 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 kwenye, kwenye mgawanyo hapo utakuja kuona establishment of colonialism namba tisa hii namba tisa huku ina point ngapi yani ina imepewa item ngapi namba tisa ina item ya, ya possibility ya kutoa number of question number 5 number 5 lakini ni 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 ni, ni, ni ukiacha tuna namba 5 ina athiri ya, ya ngapi question namba hiyo ina uzito wa 10.8 nine ni percent per topic. Yaani huku mwishoni huku tuna percent per topic. Yaani kwamba kila topic ina asilimia ya, ya uzito. Unaona kuna topic zingine zina asilimia mbili, lakini hiyo establishment of colonialism ambayo namba tisa ina uzito wa asilimia kumi point tisa Ikiwa na asilimia hiyo maana ina high number of questions, ina asilimia kubwa ya kutoa maswali. Lakini apart from hiyo ukija namba 15 kuna hii tunaita no kwanza namba 14 kuna nationalism and decolonization hii ni topic ya form 4 ni swali namba 7 amesema ni question namba 7 lakini pia ina percent hapa ni, ni 15.2 kwa hiyo hii ina ina weight ya asilimia 15 it means maswali yake yana wingi wa kutolewa no matter atatoka katika essay iwe kwenye kuchola lamani wapi wapi lakini percent yake iko namna hiyo lakini apart from there kuna hii topic ya tunasema change in political social economic policy in Africa after independence ina uzito wa 10.9 kwa hiyo na yenyewe ina ukubwa kutoa swali kwa hizo topic tatu kwanza za kwanza kabisa lakini pia kuna topic inaitwa colonial social service na yenyewe ina 8.7 ukiacha hivyo ndio unakuja sasa kukuta hii industrial capitalism zingine zina sita sita zina ngapi kuna hii evolution of money technology and the environment ambayo ni topic namba hapa namba mbili ina wenyewe ina weight ya 6.4. Kwa ukiangalia huku pembeni utagundua ni topic gani zenye uzito wa maswali. Kwa mfano hapa tena wamekuelekeza kabisa hapa number of questions. Swali la yani namba ya swali. Unafikiri unaweza kaona hapa na vitu viko vingi hapa hata vingine mwenyewe sivijui. Lakini nimejaribu kukuonesha tu hivi ambavyo vinaonesha kabisa ile percentage per topic kwa hii asilimia kwa kila topic ndio itakujulisha ni topic gani ndio kukushauri kama we ni mwanafunzi wa kidato cha nne na unakaribia kufanya mtihani kabla ya kufanya mambo mengine naomba usome topic ya colonial economy ninaomba usome topic ya establishment of colonialism ninaomba usome topic ya social colonial social service lakini naomba usome topic ya change in political social and economic policies in Africa after independence lakini pia hii crisis in capitalism system banake ni yale masuala ya vita vyote na, na, na mambo ya ya ya, ya, ya nini na mambo yale ya 
ya ile ya nguko la kiuchumi sawa lakini pia unaweza ukapitia na hizi topic nyingine hizo nilizo kupa ni za muhimu kwa maana ninajaribu kuona uzito jinsi ulivyo kwa mfano tukichukua hapa pala mwaka 2019 tukaangalia ese ukija okay, ukagusia okay, ese hapo utakuja kushangaa kitu kimoja anakuambia by using 6 point explain how berlin conference tunarudi kwenye colonial economy na ni kwenye 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 establishment of colonialism katika kipande cha e, berlin conference kwa hiyo mwanzo tuliona njia ambazo alizitumia sio kunini scramble for sasa hivi tumerudi kwenye hii inaitwa berlin conference kwa hiyo ni topic ya muhimu mwaka jana imetoa mwaka juzi imetoa sasa je mwaka huu itatoa haya how how was migrant labor benefit migrant labor tunaenda katika colonial economy hapa lakini elaborate six factor, factor contribute to occurrence of mfekane eh, mfekane during the 19th century kwa sababu mfekane ni hiyo 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 topic ya establishment of colonialism baada ya watu sasa mambo ya ku nataka wa Afrika wanaamua kuji 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 kujikwamua katika ukoloni lakini Africa contribute Africans country countries have been suffering social economic political and ile social and nini nini akamwambia member of UN ngoja nisome kwa uzuri Africa countries have been suffering socially economically but politically as a result of being member of UN <laughs> explain six reasons to justify this statement kwamba Afrika walikuwa wanaangaika kijamii kiuchumi kisiasa ndio maana wakawa wakaamo wakawa member wa UN sasa eleza sababu sita kwao lazima unajua reasons for African to join katika UN hapo sasa hiyo nayo ni ile ya political social de nini ile nafikiri unaweza kaona kwamba hata tukirudi mtihani mwingine na saa wa mwaka 2018 twende 18 japo hii 18 ilikuwa kabla ya format mpya ya mtihani ukiangalia hapa utakuja kugundua kwamba anakuambia in, in six point explains the importance of museum to national uh, development importance ya museum katika national development hata usiposoma hii unaweza ukajua kwamba hii museum zina mchango gani eh, katika maendeleo ya ki ya ki ya ki, ya ki taifa lakini like explain six effect of maji maji applies in Tanzania tu ukiangalia maji maji tumerudi katika Africa ile establishment of colonialism. Kwa hiyo hii topic ya kwanza ya form 3 ni very very important kuliko unavyofikiria. Lakini East Africa was affected by coming of Oman or Union from 2 with the concrete example assess the six problem facing current East Africa. Tumerudi katika political, social and economic ambayo ndo hii mambo ya 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 political change yale ambayo yanakuja katika hii hizi yani ile sio ni elezeje ile topic ambayo nimekwambia uisistize au uipitie lakini as a 60 effect of uh, of economic interaction among Africans hii ni form 2 topic ya kwanza kwa hiyo lazima upite lakini zile topic ambazo nimekusisitiza upitie ni za muhimu sana nimalizie kwa kuangalia mtano wa mwaka 2017 iwe ni 18 19 20:17 miwili ya format mpya miwili ya format ya zamani haya explain six significant of studying history from one umuhimu wa kusoma history assess the six contribution made by discover fire from one critical examine six effects of leg, uh, legitimate trade in west from one uh, from one from two yo Colonial LC system was discriminative sabzi hiyo colonial colonial LC ipo katika form 3 why some african could collaborate with africa during the year hapa tena tumerudi tena kujisana ile yani maana yake mtihani mwaka 2020 hii topic imekuwa ikitoa maswali ya eh, tunazungumzia establishment of colonialism nafikiri tumeona wote swali la tisa why some africans collaborate with the european during the colonial invasion lakini uh, uh, tunamaliza na hiyo explain six advantage of discovering of any sasa huku hatubezi sana japo tunaangalia maswali lakini kwa format mpya unaweza ukaona hii topic ya colonial ya establishment of colonialism ni 
pana sana sasa naomba uipitie hiyo na upitie zile zingine ambazo nimekusitiza lakini pia uwe na hii format uwe nayo yani uitumie katika kuangalia topic zenye uzito na topic ambazo sio za uzito lakini hakuna topic sio na uzito zote ni muhimu ni hizi topic zipo almost ziko 16 ndio hii kwa kwambia change ni political social hiyo hapo ni ya muhimu sana na hizi nyingine nyingi nafikiri umenielewa kwamba history iko katika mapana haya na nimekuonesha topic ambazo zimekuwa zikitoa banswali kwa wengi kwa hiyo mbali na kwamba umeshasoma na zimebaki siku chache tumia huu muda pia kupitia hizi topic ambazo nimekuonesha kwa uzito uzito zaidi thanks for watching hizi ni teacher D na kama kuna topic zingine au kuna somo jingine unataka nijaribu kulifanyia upembuzi hebu niandikie hapo kwenye comment mimi kazi yangu ni kuwahudumia watu ambao wana niambia kile wanachohitaji thanks for watching is me teacher D see you next time goodbye